Question one. All right. So, question one. Yeah. Um, what? Were you guys fans of the original Minority Report movie? And what do you do this part to play Minority Report in the series? And what do you? What do what do you what do play the part? Yeah, okay. the part to play. Daniel was already in the original. Yeah. No, you were, I, was, I was in the movie. So I'm, I'm playing the same character. So for me, I, I love that. I love the movie. I love the experience of making the movie. Um, and so for me, this was like like an old friend that you hadn't seen and. 15 years knocking on your door and just saying, hey, I'm here, and you know, to get to play this character again um, has been you know, almost like an emotional experience for me. It's really been amazing getting to, to see where he's come in, in these years and parallel that with where I've come in all these years, and it's, it's just kind of all melded together to make it you know, very meaningful for me. For yourself? I was definitely um, a fan of the film. I saw it in the theaters um, when it first came out. I loved it. Um, and then I, when I first became involved with the project, I went back and rewatched it. And then I watched it again two weeks ago because I think a friend of mine hadn't seen it and I <laughs> made her watch it. <laughs> so, um, but Akila is a brand new character and she's um, completely different. Which to, to anyone I remember from the movie, so got the opportunity to create it from scratch. Were you fans of science fiction role in general? I got into it when I when I did that ori original uh, Minority Report movie. Um, I think like anything, when it's done right, it's it's amazing, you know. And uh, uh, Philip K. Dick it, it has some amazing source material. Um, it's really an exciting, exciting world to enter into. Um, at the core, you know, though it's about characters, it's about relationships. For me, that's what, as an actor, gets me into a project. But um, the world of it adds a, a, another layer for sure as well. You know, you know the uh, episode that's screening tonight, that's today. Uh, can you kind of set up that episode for us? Because um, as we've heard, it, it's a great defining episode for this series. Yeah, I mean... Uh, 105? Episode 5? Episode 5, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think uh, the director of that episode, David Strayton, had had really looked at the movie closely and, and was trying to kind of emulate uh, certain camera angles and certain ways that it was shot. And so I think in that regard, um, that, that episode is going to stand out in a really cool way. Um, but then also, you know, we see the, the, the Dash and Arthur relationship really kind of come together in this episode. A very deep part of Vega's past. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of deep stuff happening. You'll see. It's, 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 it's going to be exciting, I think. And, and it kind of does. It sort of opens the path for the rest of, of, of these of this 10 episode block. They said uh, it's going to move towards more character yes. development. So this is where we get the world has been set up and now we get to meet the characters. Yeah, yeah. It kind of gets in up close and deep and... and Personal. Right. It's, so you have to turn to the free cogs to tell you the next few episodes. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Did you have a favorite character from the movie? I know you were in it and you can't say yourself, but... Right. So like, you were on yourself. set. Agatha, clearly. I mean, both my character and me as a person. Uh, Samantha, I love working with her. And that, that one. I was pretty isolated and my work was always just in that yeah. temple with those three mm -hmm. and I feel an affinity to those characters, to the pre cubs um, and the actors that played them back then and now are all just beautiful, amazing people. And you? Do you have a favorite character? Um, I don't think, I think uh, Agatha, because um, she really embodied, it was heartbreaking and it was, she kept me going and wanting to Can you talk about working with Steven Spielberg? Sorry? Oh, the experience of Spielberg. Obviously, it's great to have all the directors, but that's... Oh, it was thrilling. You know, I think any actor would be so excited to get to work with him. And he was just as impressive as, as you might think. I mean, he walks into a room and you just feel this, like, buzzing energy around him. Um, and he has, the one thing that impressed me about Steven and Tom Cruise is just um, the joy that they felt making movies still. 
I mean, that was 10 years ago, but they had been making movies, obviously, for decades. And both of them just had this, like, childlike enthusiasm and, and love for it. Um, so that was pretty cool to see, because as a young actor starting out at that point, it, it was inspiring. And, you know, I have a question for you. Uh, we asked this question to Megan Gray about minorities in television shows. Um, how does it feel to be an Asian American, be able to be a strong Asian American woman in a sci-fi show just like this? Um, nothing bad. Everything great. I'm um, so grateful and so honored to be a part of um, such an epic film, a sequel to a film. So that alone is great. Um, it has been, excuse me, it has been very difficult to uh, break that barrier for a long time. For the first few years that I was in the industry, I wasn't even being seen everything it wasn't looking for um, any other episodes. So um, for for it to be um, where we are at this level is quite amazing and I really hope it continues to grow. You guys talk about a little bit of the chemistry on set then too? Or are you all getting along? Is it exactly what you oh, yeah. expected from us? We love each other. I mean, it's yeah. kind of ridiculous. It's we, yeah. we just became fast friends. And I think yeah. we're all really different. We come from different backgrounds. And, and yet, like, we just bonded immediately. Yeah. We love each other. We really support each other. It's pure. We look forward to working with each other every day. So when we get bummed out when we're not working, yeah, true, yeah. we get left out. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. And being in Vancouver, it's like we're kind of, oh, isol yeah. we're kind of isolated. And so we've had each other sort of there as like a family away from home. There are a lot of sets in Canada, oh, yeah, though, in that area. Like yeah. You see people, you see like old friends working on other <laughs> yeah. shows. It's kind of cool. It's it's, it's yeah. weird, but it's it's nice. There's one hotel where like all the actors oh, stay. Oh, I know the hotel. Yeah. What's it? Yeah. The Sutton, Park, Sutton Place. Sutton Place. Yeah. 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 I stayed at that one. Too. Right, right. Yeah. For, for a show. Oh, you, sit, you just sit in the yeah. Everybody, you know, everybody you should run into it. Exactly. And the rest, there's a few restaurants down the street. Do you have a favorite restaurant? In Vancouver, I have a favorite coffee place called Revolver, which is like... Loves his coffee. The best. <laughs> best coffee I've, I've ever had. I, like I walk 15 minutes every morning to go get my Revolver it's coffee. It's not Tim's? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Tim Horton, come on! I'm a, I'm a coffee like, snob, sorry, I can't. <laughs> Revolver, it takes like five minutes for them to make each yeah, cup of okay. coffee. Yeah, there's an amazing <laughs> restaurant right down from the Sutton Place that uh, everybody seems to go to that I cannot think of the name of it. I, there's a lot of good. Is that a coffee? Place? A lot of good no, food. No restaurant, restaurant. Oh, restaurant. Like really, one of the fancy chef restaurants. Mm. Oh, Hawks Hawksworth. That's oh, a good I'll one. Think of it later. It's really good. You guys there's leave. Some yeah, great ones. Um, can you talk about uh, the visual effects? You've got some really amazing visual effects in the show, and you guys have to deal with a lot of it. Yes. Um, for television, can, can you talk about that? One of the biggest challenges is the, the coordination of my lines and the beep beep bop beep part <laughs> because um, it's sort of what I always say it's sort of like doing dance choreography and singing with no rehearsal so I have the lines down we get to set and then I get some direction as to what to press and what to turn at what line and it's you know it becomes a game of this <laughs> that's that's fun but when it all comes together it's so incredible it's really I'm so I see Touching anything at that right. point, and then all these great things <laughs> come up on the screen. I'm like, oh, you're amazing, right? <laughs> who, who knew that that class in mine <laughs> would yeah, come in you handy? Do, exactly. You do this. <laughs> oh, yeah, my <laughs> Did you guys ever read any Phil Dick? I did. You know, back when I got cast in the, in the in the movie, I I had read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep in college, in a cool literary theory class, and then um, you know dipped back in uh, preparing for the movie. Of course, reading the Minority Report story and some others. Uh, there's there's so much. I mean, so much to read and it's and such rich material to draw from. Sure. It's like a Phil Dick weekend, Man in the High Castle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Outside of Minority Report, are you guys able to watch any other TV right now? Any current shows? Or uh, I really like great? Rectify. Have you seen the show? Oh, I haven't oh yeah. Rectify. It's really it's good. Yeah. It's on the Sundance channel. It's one of the best yeah. shows on TV. It's oh. just great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, and I just finished the entire season of Narcos. 
in two days. The director who worked on the current 105, he's David Strait and the guy that I mentioned. Yeah. He is a busy man. He's really good. I just good. finished it. I, two days. Did not see daylight. <laughs> you don't walk out. <laughs> no oh, food, cool. just wash. <laughs>